Uganda is set to host one of the biggest international conferences, the South-South Cooperation under the Ages of United Nations. The conference due next year will come over a year after Uganda hosted the Refugee Solidarity Conference in 2017. Uganda was picked largely because of her progressive refugee policy. Uganda's permanent representative to the UN, Adonia Ayebare, told NTV that Uganda was chosen to host the South-South Cooperation Meeting at a recent high-level UN conference at the Global Organization's headquarters in New York City. This treats the symptoms, not the disease, of developing countries. You know, the underlying issues of underdevelopment have not been addressed. And this conference will address these underlying issues. It will only be the third time the conference is held. The most recent one was in Qatar, while the first one was in Cuba. And uh, this one will be the first time it takes place in Africa. And you are talking about over 2,500 delegates coming to Uganda. This is bigger than the other, I think, conference that has taken place in Uganda. Ambassador Yebare said the South-South Cooperation is a formidable force in the UN. The conference will set key milestones in the achievements of the Sustainable Development Goals. Not have impact. We either work through the African group, uh, which is uh, 55 countries, or through the group of 77, which is 134. We take common positions at the UN, and once we take common positions, they go through because of the numeric strengths. So we work in groups, and the group of 77 is the most important one. And in the 1970s and in 1980s, it really was a move and shake at the UN. The UN General Assembly will soon come up with the final agenda for the conference. And the agenda is being agreed upon, but normally it is looking at economic development. The conference is expected to shine the global spotlight on Uganda's hospitality industry and boost tourism. After the conference, the visitors are expected to savour Uganda's flora and fauna, plus other tourist attractions. Hotels, you know, transport sector, uh, those are the tangibles, but they are intangibles that you don't see. The country will be on the world map. The whole world's, you know, eyes will be on Uganda as it hosts this conference. The United Nations Development Program plays a key role as a catalyst of South-South cooperation. In 2016, UNDP supported more than 500 projects that utilize South-South and triangular cooperation across 127 countries. More research all NTV here in New York.